Well, the American position <coughs> here in uh, Fury on Champlain, by uh, Rotten having basically forced through that, that river there, um, is greatly degraded. And I'm falling back to the, oh, it is just defend Plattsburgh at this point. Did a little bit of action, putting a roadblock in the way, which should slow things down a little bit. But the question here then is, what's up with these decoys? Uh, are they real? Are they not? What actually exists? That becomes the the whole sort of uh, factor of the game. Now here's the problem. They still have to be attacked. So they actually serve some blocking and delaying purpose, which may or may not be of some value. Another thing, I rolled a success on the wind table. Ooh. Let me get another U.S. supply marker. Uh, another success on, uh, success on the wind table, but it ended up changing to do south still. So the U.S. fleet is still bottled up. And... probably needs to take a chance soon to try to get out. They don't want to take that risk, but it's looking like there might be a reason to get uh, to get to defend the Plattsburgh Bay. Uh, some of the Vermont soldiers have made it over. A whole bunch more showed up and went out into the lake to make their way across. Well, that's the British turn. They get this guy, just a leader, up here for whatever he's worth. Uh, he's not allowed to move, he's just... Oh yeah, he is. He has a six movement allowance. And he's a pretty good leader, actually. That's just his replacement side. Plus two. So he should be pretty helpful. Um, I may move him onto the ship as a naval commander because I need to win a naval victory and I'm facing that good a leader on the American side. I also need to take Plattsburgh, of course. So... It may come down to who gets lucky with the naval battle, but with the British fleet working on the Confiance, getting that into shape, it may, it may be uh, an advantage for them. As well, though, they have to worry. If the wind changes, it may be hard for them to get out into Lake Champlain and to make their way downward. A lot of luck in the, these... Uh, ifs and not a lot of choices that really clearly, you know, seem distinguished as, ah, should I risk it here or not at this point? Um, it seems so early in the game, there's a lot of turns to win that naval battle. So, it should be pretty cool. The uh, Americans have succeeded in building their fort. They only have a, a chance of doing that they rolled high enough to get it. So that also is a slight advantage on their side. They'll be entrenching Plattsburgh, trying to defend it, make it as hard as possible for the Brits. The Brits have to stretch out their supply line as well, which could be a problem with kind of ravaging dragoons and the like. Well, I've screwed some things up, of course. Uh, that initial British advance shouldn't have been able to happen. They used road movement, which is not allowed in conjunction with moving into a zone of control. So the whole game is kind of skewed at this point. The British have forced the river too quickly. <coughs> I'm still going to play it out, but you're not seeing what it should be. There should definitely be a chance for the Americans to kind of defend that river line and fall back. Um, however, they do have a chance to kind of defend. Those decoys have to be attacked, and they seem to project zones because otherwise they wouldn't be decoys anymore. They wouldn't be as detectable. Or they'd be easy to detect from a distance, which they're not supposed to be. So the British are kind of holed up. They can't cross the river completely. The one unit that did attacked a decoy and a spy. Uh, those went away. Uh, but it's going to be very, very easy to delay the British troops along the road if that's the case. Uh, or maybe the rules aren't quite what they seem, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Uh, so I, I'm not sure the British can make it to Plattsburgh 
and clear the road. And they have to clear the road because otherwise they can't draw their supply line, which is a necessity. And if they cannot draw their supply line, they can't move forward. They, uh, of course, they could use rear guard units to clear the road, which might be easier. We'll see. And things like the Indians. Um, got a new naval leader in charge. And we have uh, forces moving downward, trying to leave a line of these outpost units in the way. Putting one here in case this is my main road route, which it likely is actually. I'm probably going to have to convert units and slide over there. That's definitely showing some attrition on the size of the British force. And in particular, I do not want to use one of these units, the third up here, Powers unit is powerful. It has much better, maybe guards or something, 8-4 regiments, which I really do not want to expend on supply line guarding. Uh, I'm going to need them for my main attack. All right, well, onward to the Americans' turn in turn four, I guess. Well, the Americans are getting worried about the British Navy, so they move their ships at some risk across Lake Champlain. They got the lucky uh, roll, got into here, got another lucky roll and got into here. Now that, how much luck? Well, 50-50. If they hadn't, they would have had to undergo a gale check, which means on a one in six chance, they'd have hits taken on one of their ships. That would be unpleasant, but they could rebuild the ship uh, if it wasn't sunk. So it seemed like a worthy risk because there's been enough time for the British to conceivably launch their fleet and, and have a shot at making it down there without any warning on a good roll. So they didn't want to risk that. Now we're going on to the British turn. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what comes of that. <coughs> well, the English have pushed down further. Uh, Rotten's advanced guard has found himself another spy. They didn't have to spend any supply because they didn't actually fight, and there was another spy here. Nothing too exciting. There are some roadblocks in their way, though. And they're going to have to... Well, that's more than a roadblock. They're going to have to make their way through kind of slowly. Now, they could branch down this way and try to use this road instead. That may or may not be less defended. It's not clear, though. With all these decoy markers, that bridge is out. There's another roadblock here. Might start seeing some roadblocks over here. Hard to tell. Just all in an effort to slow the Brits down and make it so that their inevitable attack on Plattsburgh has the least time possible. Of course, the slower they go, the longer the Brits have to uh, replenish their ship and prepare before they have to engage. At this point, they do want to keep working on it. Um, currently, it's got a decent amount of flotation hits. It's a big boat. Almost all the long guns are fixed are, are installed on the left side, but the right side is still at half strength, and none of the short guns have been put in. Now I have to start deciding, do I want long guns on both sides? Because ships can only fire out one side, and the way the naval battle works, you take losses on one side, eventually you could turn your ship around and start shooting out the other side. A little bit of a, a, a fiction going on there, but less of one when the ships are anchored because the reload rate is going to be faster than the turning rate even at anchor. So it's kind of showing something of the line of battle techniques, etc. If we get to things like fighting sail or whatever I have, from GMT. It's not Serpents of the Sea, it's the previous to that. Um, not War Galley. <laughs> I don't know where it is, but uh, probably see the same kind of thing. Or if I get wooden ships and iron men up, which is pretty unlikely. I'm unlikely to do that so well. Anyway, that's what we're seeing here. The Americans are continuing to fall back, but they're kind of worried that this road might be bypassed. So they didn't build what they could have built and the British don't know this, the last of their roadblocks on it. They want to make sure to save one for down here somewhere. Um, the reason being 
they have a limited number of them, and they only have one left. And if they don't build it, uh, the Brits can just bypass the main, uh, the the direct route, and go around, and it'll be a lot easier for them than stopping at each roadblock and at the bridges that are out. Uh, so that's kind of a decision that the Brits are left with, realizing that there is some expenditure there. They may actually try to push around this way. On the other hand, it may be easier to make the line down that way, or they could try in both directions. Uh, we've got the sick on boats. They're too slow. They're actually too slow to even land on Crab Island, but um, and so are the, inv uh, the convalescents. That's something I'm not really willing to accept, and I'm building some more breastworks back here. I'm going to complete the fortification of the city area as much as possible to try to prevent an attack. Now, I may have screwed up by building the fort here. Boy, I'm bad with the Americans in this, am I not? This is a cool location because it has the blockhouse. The problem is if this hex falls and, the, you know, and anything else, if it's surrounded, there's no way out to get supply, which will mean that the strength of the American units there will be halved. This is probably a better location for the fort. It's a tough, uh, you know, these are things you don't really realize, and you have to make these decisions real early in the game, what you're building, because it's going to come down, uh, you know, to a fight down there very quickly. Speaking of which, it's on the British turn. And the Brits continue their slow march down. They're actually taking both routes. Ooh, I've got a possible fight here, which doesn't happen rotten. Again, found a decoy. And let's roll on the spy table as he goes in there. Three, no effect. So he makes it forward into another hex. He's taking some risks here. If he hits a real unit, he could be in trouble, but he's counting on the idea that probably the Americans don't have supply up here, but they may. Uh, it's, hard to, it's hard to tell. Still rebuilding the boat. Didn't get a good roll this time, but all the long guns are built. Got a minimal roll, really. Uh, only one long gun fixed, a couple of flotation hits. Probably ought to be considering making his move at this point. On to turn six. I'm going to load this one up. 